Yo, what's going on? So we're doing this Cadillac door. We have no room to blend. Um, it's a factory defect that we're fixing. Some uh, defect in the paint. But I'm not too sure what I'm doing here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my mini jet. And I'm gonna try to keep it small and try to blend that out. The color didn't look too bad on the chips. I'm using Prime. This is uh, WA-636R, so we'll see how it goes. So I put one uh, light coat and I'm going to tack it now. I want to tack it every single coat. And the reason why I figured uh, we might as well use a mini jet is because it's going to keep the overspray really minimal and it's easy to tack off. So as you can see, obviously the first coat is always going to be transparent, but I'm, are you, it's already dry. Just blew it. So I'm going to put a second coat and I'm going to put it on a little bit heavier, just a little bit farther. Right? And then we'll see what happens. So I kept, I'm going to keep it underneath this if I can. So, good news. I stuck my finger in it. So, but look, the blend's coming out pretty good. That's only the second coat. I'm going to bake that so I can give it a scuff scuff. Oh, turn out good. Okay, so so I got a piece of eight hundred. Gonna try to keep it really small. I'm not putting any pressure on it. Just kind of let it do its thing on its own. Takes a little longer, but it's worth it. All right, that should be good. I'm gonna tack this really well. Get rid of all that overspray from the base. And what I'll do is I'll put some paint here, flash it off, and then put another coat on everything else.
Okay, here we go. Just like that. I'm gonna dry it, and then we'll put a coat on everything else. Okay, so that looks good now. So what I did is uh, one key thing here is that if you're sanding something out of the base and you burn through even a tiny little bit, you gotta make sure you put it on light, right? You, you saw that I put it on pretty heavy because I didn't burn through the base, so it's, it's okay. If you burn through the base a little bit, you gotta put on light coats because you have the different substrates. So the paint is gonna lay down differently. So now I'm gonna put a coat around it Put a, another coat and hopefully the metallic will settle down evenly and then I can double control it, double control coat it and then be done with it. All right, let's see. Okay, so I have put a control coat now, double control coat. It's looking mint. So I think once that flashes off, it's still a little wet there. But so I did a double control coat. I dropped down the pressure um, until the, the droplets got a tiny little bit bigger. So optimum spraying, like if you want to find kind of like the sweet spot for the gun, it's when the droplets look fine, like very, very fine. And then for a control coat, you want the droplets to be a tiny little bit bigger. Not too much, because the metallics won't do what it's, they're supposed to do, right? But on a practical side note here, if you want to check, is the, the on, obviously on a mini jet, they're gonna all, always gonna be tiny. Um, but if you can tell here at the side, they're a little bit bigger droplets. I don't think you can tell on the camera, but that's how you can tell, you know, in the sweet spot is the, the the droplets of the gun so that's good to go that spot is gone and we're gonna get ready for clear so i'm using my iwata ws 400 uh, 14 hd which is 1.4 and i'm gonna spray at 35 psi which is what i like with my handy dandy uh, invisible regulator you guys have to get one of these they're invisible you can't see them but, but just know the pressure it's it's they're awesome I they're awesome they're just awesome all right here we go Looks good. So 
so from time to time I'll put a regulator on that gun and I'll check that to make sure my pressure is consistent to what I'm listening to I've been listening to that humming for a long time so it's it's been it's been good when I test it out see if I'm really accurate I'm basically accurate so basically it's good but that's where you want to be around you want to be around 35 37 33 whatever you want like just if it works for you it works for you that's the point I'm trying to make I don't like to give too many precise details of what I do in the sense of the setup because that's what works for me right in the environment that I'm in in the weather that I'm in in the booth that I'm in with the guns that I'm in so it's all different it's all relevant to what works for you all right so Looks good. I'm very happy with it. So, did you notice that I didn't start like this? I did not follow the contour of the door. I follow a straight line. Right? Just like that. Because if you start following the contours of the door, you're going to go on an angle, right? And then you're going to get runs here, runs here, runs here, runs here. So, there we go. It looks great. I like it. Very happy with it. Not bad for a Chevy car. Orange peel on point, so we did good. 10 minute flash in between the clear coats, okay? That's key right there for 550 uh, PPG and Base clip. Bake is done. Let's see. Forgive my shakiness, please. She looks good. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. 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 All right. Not bad. So using the mini jet turned out to be a really good thing so it doesn't look too bad at all it's a little tiny little bit darker but it's it's okay sorry for the shakiness but uh, there you have it guys use the mini jet when you can i mean if it was the whole side i wouldn't use the mini jet but since it was a small spot like that it worked out really well and the mini jet i used was a 1.2 uh 3000 mini jet so Thank you for watching. Take care. I hope this video is useful. Please don't forget to like, comment, keep the bad comments to yourself. Nobody wants to see them. But if you need to let some stuff out, let it out. We're all here to support you. All right. Peace. Take care, guys. God bless.